How's it going, everybody? My name is Brad, and uh, today we're playing some Team Deathmatch on Grid. And my weapon setup is the Galil with Red Dot and Suppressor. Because I was using the Warlord perk, which is just going to give you two perks. And I haven't unlocked anything pro, so uh, the game is still fairly new. It's only been out for about a day. And I was using Hardline as my first perk and Ninja as my last perk. The reason I chose Hardline is because uh, you don't really need Scavenger. <laughs> And I just, I don't know, for some reason or another, the iron sights on this gun just don't do it for me. Even though it's its clear as a bell, a lot of people might be able to use it just with the silencer. I just couldn't do it. So, it's really just about personal preference. But, I guess I can kind of use this part to talk about the multiplayer itself. Um, I mean, it's a whole different beast, <laughs> as uh, El Presidor would say. It's, it's something that, whenever I was playing it, I was, I was thinking to myself, I was like, alright... This can either go really good or really bad. And so far, I've put about five hours into it. And you know what? I still want to play more. I think if, if a game can make me play it for that long and not lose interest within the first few hours and then, you know, the next day want to play more and more, then they're, they're obviously doing something right. So that's just my two cents, though. Your opinion may differ, and I would actually like to hear your opinion. So if you... Have the game. Um, even if you don't have the game, you'd like to just ask me questions about it, feel free to ask. I'm all ears, uh, since this will be like my first upload for Black Ops. I Now, I'll admit, I did have a live commentary for like my second game, but uh, it didn't really get good feedback. Which I was going to ask you guys, do you prefer regular commentary over live commentary? I, I think it works best in different games, like my, like my Dead Rising 2 series, the whole Let's Play Dead Rising 2. The live commentary with that uh, worked so well um, that I just figured I would try it with Call of Duty Black Ops and it just didn't work out. So with all that being said, um, I will say that a lot of people did the whole farewell to Modern Warfare 2 videos, which I thought was ironic because I guarantee you a lot of the same people might eventually post Modern Warfare 2 gameplay again, like occasionally. And that's why I had a vector nuke that I was going to do from like my 100th video and make it all epic, final this, final that, this is my last one. But I realized, like, what if I actually want to go back and play that game? Like, that whole this is goodbye thing just doesn't make sense to me. I figured I still have COD 4 gameplay I want to upload to my channel. So over time, I will just be posting a lot of Call of Duty. So definitely stay put with all that. So another thing I will say is the kill streaks in this game are somewhat just badass. <laughs> I can't understand, like... They got the death machine, they got, uh, and that's why I love doing the care package, because in Modern Warfare 2, the care package never, like, anything you got in there did not count towards your kill streaks. but now in this game, it doesn't matter what you use, it's not going to count towards your kill streaks. so, uh, the care package I think is a lot better in this game, and the reason I got it at 4 is because I'm running the hard line, and look at that, no matter where I go, somebody will find me. But I can guarantee you that that's probably just my luck and my luck only with that. Because I've always had bad luck with care packages. Attack helicopter. You actually have to place it in the map this time. I thought that was kind of different. Sam Turk, just place it anywhere. Who knows? Hope for the best. <laughs> and uh, at this point, I think Rags is telling me placing it there was a bad idea. And then I run back to the spy plane inbound. Sam Turk's like, I don't think so. Scrapped. <laughs> And I guess since I'm already kind of talking about extra eggs, I will say a few things. One, um, I feel bad for people like him in the Call of Duty community that have established themselves as, you know, snipers. Um, they completely just destroy the sniper rifles in this game now. It's not, I mean, it's it's all hard scoping, so you can still snipe. It's just not really a preferred option. Uh, I, for one, I'm not going to be affected by it. But for somebody like him and you got a Moody Swede, Small Beans, all those guys who have just established themselves, you know, by doing that. That's just something that I I hate for them. <laughs> I really do. Um, but my favorite gun so far in the game is probably the AK-74U. I slapped extended mags on it, and I think I was just in heaven. You're, you're probably going to see a few gameplays with that gun, so. And I think at this point I was just getting very anxious because I'd never used the chopper gunner in this game before, and I was just so excited to... Uh, to finally be able to call in like a nasty kill streak, so <laughs> I was just trying not to die. I didn't even look at the scoreboard. Uh, if I did, I just glanced at it. I didn't realize I was even flawless, but uh, nice little dive there for no reason. That's how not to dive. And call in the chopper gunner. Oh, baby. The first time I got in this thing, I, I just like realized right there I was flawless. I was like, wait a minute. 
I can turn this into a nasty flawless. And so the whole time I'm up here, I'm thinking, get a gameplay, Brad, get a gameplay. And then I'm also, like, trying not to fuck it up by getting nervous. And, uh... I'm trying to turn as fast as you can. It does not turn like it used to. And the fact that there's no death streaks to give anybody painkiller is absolutely lovely when you spawn trap them with this thing because it's just like they, as soon as they spawn, they're just as vulnerable as they are if they've been waiting and hiding there. So, uh, I love it. They hate it. And it all works out in the end, you know? It's something that everybody has their fair share of ass whoopings. I've had mine plenty of times, and, uh... Yeah, I just felt like justice was finally served here. <laughs> so, uh, first chopper gunner ever. Uh, thumbs it up if you enjoyed the gameplay. Uh, so this is kind of like my testing grounds for my Black Ops, you know, journey. So, with all that being said, I hope you enjoyed the first Black Ops gameplay from me. And uh, if this video does well, I'll keep posting more. So, uh, definitely leave me some feedback. And hopefully I'll see you guys in a little while with some more Black Ops gameplay. Take it easy, guys.